Welcome back everyone. Thanks for coming to my channel, Cat's Kaleidoscope. This is your girl Cat, and today I'm going to tell you about an experience we had at a local restaurant here in Riley, North Carolina. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't also forget to follow me on Instagram as Cat's Kaleidoscope with the underscore at the end. So today, I'm going to tell you about my experience at the Angus Barn, so that hopefully if you live in the area, you can also go and experience for yourself. A couple of friends and myself decided to get together for a little celebration and just to see each other for the month, since we always try to keep in touch, especially during the pandemic. The restaurant is located on Glenwood Avenue, right near Briar Creek. Angus Barn is known for their aged steaks, their beautiful landscaping, and also their pavilion where you can actually host a special event like a wedding or birthday party and then get their catering. Angus Barn is also known for their beautiful decorations during the Christmas holiday. They go all out by decorating every single inch of their building and also include a huge Christmas tree. I believe they also hand out cookies, like gingerbread cookies, that they bake in-house. When you pull up to the restaurant, there's a drop-off canopy, and they also have a valet service. If you don't want to valet your car, there is free parking, and it's a little bit of everywhere, so they should never run out. Here is the back of the restaurant, or the front, depending on what you want to call it. But this is the side that you would see if you're passing the restaurant on the actual highway. For COVID, the Angus Barn is doing a curbside check-in, where you can actually pull up, check in with the host at the front, and they'll let you know if your table is ready. If not, you'll actually wait outside and they'll give you a pager and pays you once your table is ready. When you first come into the Angus Barn, you're actually gonna come into the area they call the saloon. Before COVID, this was a general waiting area which had an open bar some heating lamps, and tables for your party to wait at while they were getting your table ready to dine. Currently, it looks like it's being used as another dining space to keep your table safe and distanced away from others. Here is the main waiting lobby where you can see their country store. The bathroom is located at the end of the hallway and a couple of other random rooms that they have. Because of COVID, I'm not sure if you're able to actually wait in this area or if they're open to the public, but they're still very beautiful to look at. Here is one of the many dining spaces. And to me, it looks like they still have some of their Christmas decorations up with the lighting on the poles. But either way, if it's not Christmas decorations, it's definitely very pretty. So again, we have the country store where they sell some of their handmade goodies and other knickknacks that you can pick up as keepsakes. We also have the bathroom. Hey y'all. The bathroom is beyond gorgeous. These are the mirrors and the sinks that they have. And they're actually very spacious. I know that sounds kind of random, but they definitely are spacious. They even have a waiting room for the bathroom that looks personally detailed down to every little piece. 
All right, so now let's talk about the food. One of the things that makes Angus Barn stand out from other restaurants is their cheese and crackers that they offer for free and also the relish tray that they bring to the table. Like I've said before, Angus Barn is known for their aged steaks and is considered a steakhouse. For dinner this night, I got their 24 ounce T-bone and their side of cream spinach, which was beyond delicious. Other than their aged steak, they also feature seafood, specialties, a long list of side dishes, and a huge dessert menu. They also happen to have a kids menu or calves menu if you're bringing the whole family. So one of the couples in our party actually got the bone-in tomahawk, which is over 42 ounces of aged bone-in ribeye. Here's the server actually cutting the steak up for them so they could eat it easier. Not only did it look delicious, but it also smelled delicious. So I almost forgot to get a video of this delicious Texas toast. This Texas toast and the rolls they bring out while your food is coming out. So you can actually eat the bread with your meal. But the Texas toast everybody went for as soon as it hit the table. So here is our server actually describing a bunch of the different desserts that they feature on their menu. They bring this whole tray over and let you look and see everything that they have and it's definitely very tempting. So overall we had a fantastic experience. We were there for just over three hours and we never felt like we were waiting for anything. Our food and drinks came out in a timely manner and we got to enjoy each experience. The other thing I want to speak about is we had an issue come up at our table and when the manager found out about it, they went above and beyond to make sure that it was rectified and that person left without a bad experience and a bad taste in their mouth, which I absolutely applaud, especially in this day and age. All right, so we are at the end of my video. I hope that you've enjoyed all the information that I've given and that you hopefully can go visit Angus Barn for yourself. If you've actually visited Angus Barn, tell me in the comments below. Also, if you have a favorite steakhouse, let me know what it is too. If you live in the Triangle area, which is the Durham, Riley, Chapel Hill Triangle, let me know where are some of your favorite local restaurants so I can go visit them too. Again, thanks for coming back to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!